Hello, and thank you for joining us to hear about the 2022 season for the Melbourne Theatre Company. My name is Jane Hanson, and I am privileged to be the chair of the MTC board. Before we begin, may I acknowledge the traditional owners of the various lands on which those watching reside, and pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. Announcing a new season is always a very exciting time for the company. Given the last two challenging years, it is a particularly sweet moment for us all today. We have planned the season with a sense of optimism that next year will offer more certainty that we will remain on stage. A combination of extensive vaccine uptake among staff, creatives and audiences, along with extensive safety measures while at the theatre, should mean that once again our calendars are populated with captivating live stream theatre to enjoy with family and friends. In 2022, we will offer you a range of brilliant theatrical experiences to entertain, to challenge and to inspire. It is a season that offers broad appeal with drama, laughter, intrigue and adventure to delight us all. As is usual, announcing the season will be our artistic director, Brett Sheehy. This will be his last season and we congratulate Brett on this fitting finale to his very successful tenure. Brett has overseen a great period of evolution at MTC and has much to celebrate in his achievements, over nine seasons and more than 100 productions. Under his direction, we had grown pre-COVID to be a financially robust arts company with increased audiences and the largest subscriber base of any theatre company in the country. We thank Brett for his outstanding contribution in cementing MTC's place as one invested in its city and its artists. We would also like to thank everyone across our extraordinary MTC community. Your ongoing support through ticket sales, subscriptions and donations remains vitally important to our survival, now more than ever, as I'm sure you would all appreciate. And to our corporate partners who have stayed the course with us and been prepared to reimagine how we may work together, your loyalty too is tremendously valued. I would like to acknowledge the University of Melbourne and the consistent support that they have provided. I do also need to mention the financial relief we have received from federal and state governments, as they recognise and appreciate not only our difficulties, but also the valuable role that we play in the broader arts ecosystem. Thank you. Finally, I am thrilled at the prospect of once again being able to enjoy a year of the world's best productions with you on stage in Melbourne. I hope you'll be as delighted as we are with the lineup of shows that Brett will now introduce. And I look forward to seeing you in the theatre in 2022. Thank you. Hello, I'm Brett Sheehy and welcome to season 2022. Next year, we have 11 outstanding productions, inviting you to step inside stories, offering fresh perspectives, pure entertainment, and deeply thought-provoking narratives, all brimming with relevance for our world today. As always, new Australian plays feature prominently, including some at last making their long-awaited premieres after the disruption of recent years. Complementing these works are the best new international plays and two very special musicals that will keep you thinking long after leaving the theatre. Our education production makes its return. MTC Digital Theatre will continue to see our shows available across the country as we release more filmed productions throughout the year. And two recent MTC productions will be touring to Sydney and beyond. Season 2022, my final program as MTC Artistic Director, is my parting contribution to you, the theatre lovers of Melbourne and Victoria, and one that I hope will both surprise and delight. It's been my absolute pleasure to lead this extraordinary company and share a decade of theatre with you. 
As I hand over the reins to the wonderful Anne-Louise Sachs, I know the MTC is destined for many more years of great success and abundant creativity, backed by its community of artists, staff, and you, our terrific audiences. Here is your season 2022. What made me fall in love with theatre? Um, it's like an itch that has to be scratched, to be honest with you. My parents would take me to every West End show possible. Going to drama classes as a little girl. When I was a teenager. I must have been about 10 years old. It was in high school. Definitely primary school. In kindergarten, uh, I was taken to see Cats. An amateur production of Les Miserables. Pirates of Penzance, and my dad was playing the Pirate King. I turned up the next day in kindergarten and said, I will be putting on a production of Cats here. I guess it was my grandmother that took me to the ballet originally. Watching bodies and lights and costumes all come together was mesmerising. I remember just being enchanted by that moment when the house lights go down and everyone in the audience falls silent. Theatre helped me make sense of the world. There's so much magic in theatre. Magic and joy. It's transformative, it's so moving. It's electrifying and it's visceral. You can't fake it. The audience know. There's nothing like that buzz, that energy and... This tsunami of joy. You can't get that anywhere else. It is that collective experience of sitting down to hear stories happening right in front of us. There's no alternative for that. That conversation between you and the audience and watching what people can do in a black box is just so inspiring. Something happens in front of you on stage and you can feel everybody else in the audience go, I know that feeling. I always come back to it because it, it's, it's something alive and it's wild, it goes wrong and it's fun and it's outrageous in the best way. We get to transport people to another place for two hours of their life. And hopefully make them feel something that they didn't know they needed to feel. For me, it's the ultimate act of empathy. Twenty twenty two is gonna be an awesome year for theatre. I have a feeling in my bones. <laughs> People are going to be raring to go to get their bums on seats. The audiences are sophisticated and hungry. This thirst and this hunger to be in a room together and, and experience something at the same time. <laughs> it's gonna be fresher with new energy and new ideas and new stories. Real people on real stages telling real stories. It's just never felt more urgent. This is an exciting opportunity for us to have more hope. Coming back together and having this collected theatrical experience will be more exciting than ever. The world is crazy and, and, and too big for one human being, but theatre is, is the only space where everybody comes together and I think tries to figure it out. <laughs>